Hello everybody, I will show you guys how to add a save file into Matplotlib in this video. In the previous video, I plot the unstructured triangular grid. However, you might don't know where is the location or what is this grid. The grid represents a strait between Bali Islands and Java Islands in Indonesia as shown in this Google image. We can add a save file of these two islands to give the reader a better understanding about the plot. And where you can get a save file? You can do a quick googling, download it for free. I think every country provided. And this is the result before and after I add a save file into the grid plot. And this is the result of a straight depth after I add a save file. I also will show you how to add this annotation tags as well as adding this north arrow into the matplotlib plot. Okay, let us now move to the Jupyter Notebook. I'm using the Jupyter Notebook from Google Collab and I already connect this notebook to my Google Drive. We will use the GeoPandas library to read our save file. By default, the GeoPandas is not available in the Google Collab. To install the GeoPandas, you can follow this link. The link will bring you to this notebook. And what you need to do is just copy this cell into your notebook and then run it to install the GeoPandas libraries. Once it is done, we are ready to import the GeoPandas libraries. We can use the read the underscore file function to read our save file. Here I read my save file as an hsp variable. You can plot your save file using the dot plot function. As you see here, the GeoPan is using the matplotlib to plot the save file. This makes our jobs much easier because we can plot the save file and then use the matplotlib to customize our plot. Here I create the figure and axis objects and we can tell the dot plot function to plot the save file at our axis object. We can do some setups such as changing the color, limiting the x-axis, and add a label using the standard method lib function. Next I will plot the grid and the depth. First I read the data from my drive using the pandas libraries. Then I do some modification here. Why I did this you can watch on my previous video. Here I create the triangle object which is the unstructured triangular grid. I set the limit of the x and the y axis. Here I plot the grid using the tree plot function. So this is my unstructured grid without the shape file. In order to add a shape file, we just need to add the shp.plot function in this cell. Let's rerun this cell. Alright, so this is my unstructured triangular grid with a shape file. And here I do the same thing for the uh, contour plot. I only add the sfp.plot function before this uh, tree contour plot. Let's rerun this cell. Alright, we are successfully add the save file into our contour plot as well as into our triangular grid plot. Next, I will do some customize into this plot, such as adding the north arrow and modify the x and y axis as well as adding the label into this both axis. First, I read the north arrow. Here, I read the north arrow image using the matplotlib and read function. Let us preview the north arrow. In this cell, I will plot the save file and the grid. First, I create the figure and axis object and plot the save file and the grid. Next, I limit the x and y axis and add the label. Here, I customize the y and the x text label. In line 25 to 27, I add the north arrow. In line 25, I add the new axis into the figure object and I set the location as well as the width and the height. Using the I'm sure function, I display the north arrow and I use the axis of function to remove the border. In line 30 to 31, I add an annotation text. The first two arguments here is the location of the text, and then the third argument is the text, and the last two here is uh, the font properties. Finally, I save the figure using the fig.save function. Okay, let's rerun this shell. Perfect. Now our unstructured triangulates look much better. Next, I will plot the save file and the counter field plot of the dev data. Next, I will plot the save file and the counter field plot of the dev data. Most of the code here is the same as the previous one. The difference here is I create an object color using three counter field function. The ax three counter f. The ax dot three counter f will make the counter field plot. 
and I will use the color object to create a color bar. From line 10 to line 33 is the same as the previous one. I will not explain it again. In line 36 to 39, I add the color bar. In line 36, I create a new axis and specify the location and the width and the height. In line 37, I create the color bar using the figure.colorbar function. The input here is the color object, the axis, and the orientation of the color bar. Finally, in lines 38 and 39, I customize the color bar text label and label. Okay, let us run this cell. Good, we are successfully adding the save file into contour fill plot as well as customize our plot. If you don't like with the color interval in the contour plot image, you can specify the color interval using the levels variable inside the ax.streetcounterf. Here I specify the levels equal to 50, meaning that I will have a 50 colors interval in my uh, contour plot. Okay, let's rerun this cell. Alright, so now my counterfill plot looks much better. I already uploaded this Jupyter notebook file into my GitHub repository. You can download it for free for real practice. I put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial video.